welcome to a special edition of the Red Raiders show as we break down the NCAA regional with Texas Tech and Fairfield today where Texas Tech came out on top 12 to 1. Krista, a really good hitting display and pitching display by the Red Raiders today. They did it and Coach Tadlock always mentions that he wants to get his guys to play well in all three phases. First phase pitching, Davis Barton a career high seven innings gave up five hits, only one run, so that was huge. Offensively, you'll mention it in a column that will be in what is today, Friday and Saturday's paper. <laughs> We've got it right about the depth of this Texas Tech lineup. I spoke with Corey Rayleigh on Thursday, and he said that they needed to get back to stringing hits together. I think they did that today, and the defensively oh, only one error, but they did well in the field. What, what makes Davis Martin special, though? Obviously, he's just a freshman. You know, seven strong innings today. NCAA, the biggest stage he's ever had in his career. What, what makes this kid that special so early. Yeah, I spoke with Coach Hayward a couple weeks back, and he said that the hardest thing to coach with with guys at this level is do they have the mentality, the confidence that they belong here and they can dominate here. And he said that Davis walked in with that. So I think that's been his secret ingredient for Texas Tech. Yeah, it almost kind of looks reflective of the last time they went to Omaha. They had a couple of freshmen leading there too, Ryan Mosley, Dylan Dushak, who was of course injured this year. But, you know, it look, looks like a lot of the same formula as we had last time, you know, a deep lineup. A couple freshman pitchers leading the way, and a really good start to the NCAA Regional. What about this lineup? You've watched them all this year. Obviously, Tanner Gardner, they, they walked him to get to the number four hitter today. Yeah, and Corey said, okay. Oh, wait, no, I think he actually got walked, yeah, too. Yeah, Corey walked. And then Ness Loney was like, all right, I'll drive guys in. So, I mean, you've got the one hole with Stephen Smith, who is great. The two spot has been a lot of different people, but Tyler Floyd did that today and he did well. Then you've got, it's just not fair, Tanner Gardner, Corey Rayleigh, um, Nesloni, Gutierrez, and then Hunter Hargrove, who, who has just been peaking over the last, what, month or two. So it's just, take your pick. It's tough. Yeah, the Fairfield coach after the game said, they're best hitters in the six hole. That's odd. Yeah. But, you know, Big if it works for them. Big 12 player of the year. Big Let's, 12 player of the year. In, in the six hole, which, you know, you'd think would be in that four hole, the three hole, mm -hmm. but he's batting six for the Red Raiders and it seems to work for him. Obviously, it worked today. It did. Now, this game is done. Texas Tech now awaits the winner of this game. That's going to start behind us in a few minutes between Dallas Baptist and New Mexico. So while this was a great start, I think the guys need to get back, refocus. Coach Tadlock mentioned that Stephen Gingry will get the start tomorrow. So another freshman who has done well throughout the regular season. All right, Krista, this kind of wraps up our Red Raiders show for the day. Uh, again, Texas Tech 12-1 win. They play tomorrow, 6 p.m. or 2 p.m.? 6. 6 p.m. Uh, we'll have a 6 p.m. start. We'll be with you. We'll have Another column, notebook breakdown, everything on RedRaiders.com you can imagine. Check it out. And that's all for Chris Pirtle, Nicholas Talbot. Thanks for having us today.